running an impeachment proceeding that doesn't actually remove the president. Mm -hmm. We have a caller now from Denver, Colorado, who has a question uh, for a panel. Uh, Nick, go ahead. Hi, David. Love the show. My question is, a few months ago, the president got his wall funding and Schumer got help for DACA. So they had a compromise on the table. And from my understanding, the president turned that down. And maybe some can answer this question. I'm wondering who the president talked to and why he changed his mind. Terrific, Nick. And you're referring, of course, to Chuck Schumer, the Democratic minority leader, uh, senator from New York. Thanks so much for that question, Nick. Let me turn to Sung Min Kim. You cover the Washington Post, uh, excuse for the Washington Post. You cover the White House through the lens of Capitol Hill. Uh, who turned that down? There seemed to be a deal on the table. What went awry there? Well, definitely Chuck Schumer came away from this private lunch between just him and the president and their respective chiefs of staff earlier or excuse me, early last year, um, thinking that they had a deal. And it was actually a pretty good deal. um, uh, The Democrats thought, at least from the president's perspective, because it offered twenty five billion dollars in wall funding. I mean, we're talking about five billion that Trump wants right now. I mean, Schumer was willing to give him twenty five billion dollars in wall funding in exchange for permanent protection for dreamers. Uh, but the, the two men left that lunch um, and the reporting at the time showed that um, there were some messages back from the White House um, saying this is a deal that the president can no longer take. And obviously we know there are um, several – there are or were several influences in the White House who did not think this was a good deal at the time. One was the former chief of staff, John Kelly, who left his position a couple of days ago and the senior advisor uh, in the White House, um, Stephen Miller, who ha- who is uh, deeply entrenched in immigration issues, this is a, this is a policy that he's worked long on, has very hardline views on immigration, um, but. A lot of people have said in retrospect that that was that may have been the president's last best chance at getting all that wall funding that he wanted. And not only that, but there was also a bipartisan agreement cashed out among a lot of Republican senators as well as Democrats that did also provide 25, again, 25 billion dollars plus a litany of other plus the protections for the dreamers and uh, some other uh, immigration changes that Democrats say got at the legal immigration changes that the president and the administration wanted wanted at the time. But his administration worked to essentially defeat that legislation in the Senate, basically whipped uh, Republican votes against that deal and killed it as there as well. Consistently, the administration has said whatever um, whatever the Democrats and some of the dealmaker Republicans have offered up for a wall or f- for, you know, in exchange for the wall funding that the president has wanted doesn't go far enough in other areas. Um, and I think now the political dynamic have turned a little bit. Um, the dreamer population, who this primarily affects, have said they don't want to be used as bargaining chips for a wall that they philosophically opposed. Obviously, the courts have also stepped in and have given these DACA protections or the DACA recipients a temporary reprieve. So those permits are still uh, valid as we speak, although that could change uh, once the Supreme Court steps in. And the, Nancy Pelosi has also said that she would not do a permanent you know, wall for DACA exchange. Um, and that is really reflective of kind of where the boot of the caucus is right now, that they believe that the wall is a symbol for something that they don't support, that they don't think America should be. Um, and they're not willing to give him, give, give the president money for that. I want to take a call now from 